You can finally prop the door open a little bit. Actually nice out here in Wisconsin. Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, I took down some stuff. This is all the stuff that needs to be put back on the car, mainly the front uh, part of the uh, car, the support, bumper, radiator, and then I have those to install the back wheel. And then I gotta go find the other front uh, style five. But yeah, this radiator here is gonna go. Um, it does have a leak where the uh, bleeder screw or the dump uh, coolant screw is. I have this CSF radiator, model number 3054. Show you guys that when I get to that point. So guys, I actually did a uh, unboxing of this radiator um, in my old vlog when I did the turbo build. So if you go back to that, you can see. So you can see I had this for a very, very long time. I was actually waiting for the OEM radiator to crack and it did. So here it is. Guess I'll do another unboxing. Check out those welds. Very nice. This is the front. Came with some sticker, which is very, very cool. CSF radiator um, part number 3054 specifically for the E36 I just test fit it everything looks like it will fit even these little knobs here um, supposed to fit where um, the brackets are this is a two core which I don't know if that is but I don't think so and this one CFF is made out all aluminum, especially these sides here, all aluminum. OEM is plastic, so hopefully it doesn't crack. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cover this up and then start fitting the electrical fan on the back. So guys, I already took uh, my electrical fan out. I'm actually using a spall. 16 inch uh polar fan and then i need to mock up and drill holes in the appropriate area which is not there yet and then i'm going to be using the stock uh fan trout looks like the only area i need to notch out is right there you can see the black line where I'm gonna cut off, but yeah, let's get these bracket in the right place and then drill some holes in my new radiator. So I laid down some tape so I can center the fan. Also mark center punch using the um, spring loaded center punch the holes where I want it. I'm actually going to center punch it make it a little bit bigger so my drill can actually catch the center punch because this bolt is pushing it so let's do that holes are drilled out i just want to mention make sure you guys cover there the coolant holes just in case you get anything in there Better be safe than sorry, but the holes are drilled out. You can see it's kind of like bent, but this is aluminum. It doesn't take much to get it back straight. Much better.
All right, let's get the fan on. So I got the fan trout notched out. Gotta clean that up in a little bit. Here's where the wire. Just gotta wait for the Dremel battery to be full. And then I'm just gonna clean these out and then install it in the car. So unfortunately, this radiator does not fit exactly the way I wanted it to. You can see there, there's a lot of play in that on both sides. So I'm going to have to make my own bracket. <laughs> with so far well they let little bracket so it stays between this and then the radiator so it's not fully hitting really nice close gap there I might have to notch this out a little bit but I just center punch a hole here so I'm gonna be using this Harbor Freight threaded insert uh, rivet kit. Probably just use the smallest one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drill this hole for the to accept the insert, and then so I'm just gonna show you guys how to use this tool real quick. Um, so this assortment comes with four different sizes. I am using. The 10 by 24. What you want to do is find a drill bit just slightly bigger than the outside diameter of this. I don't know exactly which one it was, uh, which size drill bit. But yeah, so that fits perfectly snug. Make sure you grind down the burr on this side and the back side. Hook up your um, correct size thread on this all the way through and then insert this part all the way and then squeeze. should be good now we have a threaded insert there you go take my bracket take my bolt with the washer or a, um, one of these lock washer needs to be tightened down but not there you go it tighten it down That's in there. So pretty much what I gotta do now, uh, next is just clean this up a little bit and then I'm gonna paint that. Uh, I'm not too worried about the grind mark on um, this nose panel here because I'm gonna eventually take this completely out and then clean it up and paint it, but yeah, let's move on to the next. Yeah.